Annika Hart 27 Sports welcomes you to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the N2O Cola 600, where we determine who is the best car in the longest race in the schedule and the second crown jewel out of the five. I just got three things to say. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine! The cars are now on the track, and let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Bo Wheelhouse and Bobby Swift. In row 2, rookies H.J. Polis and Master Dragon 4000. In row 3, Conrad Camber is on his way to try to win his second crown jewel and Steve LePage, the Talladega winner. In row 4, Cal Weathers and J.D. McPillar. In row 5, rookies and friends, Brandon Power Card, Colin Bargain and the Patriotic Paint Schemes. In row 6, Chase Racela and Daniel Suarez. In row 7, Jackson Storm and Carl Reeves asked Bruce Maris' stuff to race because she was injured last Friday at North Wilkesboro Speedway. In row 8, Lightning McQueen and Ryan Laney. In row 9, Phil Tankson and Brian Spark. And starting in the back is Jimmy Cables and JP Drive. Here's the race format, 20 laps, 30 miles around the 1.5 mile track and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is off to the pits. Here we go for 30 miles around Charlotte Martyr Speedway. And we're getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. The green flag is in the air here at Charlotte Martyr Speedway. Bubble Wheelhouse so far with a great start. Now here comes Hane Shea Polis for the lead. They're already three wide first lap in the in the leaders, and it's gonna be Conrad Hammer leading lap one and we enter lap two. Hey Shea Polis trying to pass number 82 from the inside. 51 of Carl Reeves is supposed to be pretty good right now because he's on Radio Speaks racing equipment. Well, I could be wrong because he's just a rookie. And now we, here we go with lap, to lap 3. Conrad Camber has led the first two laps. A Shane Hull is still trying to, to pass the number 82 and try to get his first career win tonight. Jackson Storm from the inside. Master Dragon 4000 and also trying to get a second career win. And here we go entering lap 4. Conrad Camber is still strong out there. Carl Reeves is in last place. That's not good. Here comes Master Dragon 4000 trying to pass the 60 and the 20. Here he goes to the inside, along with Jackson Storm. Bobby Smith right now is controversial, so if he wins tonight, most people will not be uh, happy. Most people will be upset just because of what he did last week. Here comes Master Dragon 4000, battling Jackson Storm for third place. Steve LePage in ninth place, trying to... Go to 8th place, and there he goes. Brandon Power Car dropping speed right now. That's not good. Master Dragon 4000 moves up one position to 3rd place. Right now he's in the top 3 against H.J. Hollis and Conrad Camber. Here he goes, trying to pass the number 68. 
hopefully he doesn't do a dirty move. Hmm, Jimmy Cable's also dropping to the back. Master Dragon 4000 going after the 82 of Conrad Camber. H.J. Hollis dropped to third place. A wheelhouse in sixth place. There's a look at Lightning McQueen in 17th place. No, he's in 19th place. He is not looking good right now. I bet he dropped all the way to tell um, the, the newcomer, Carl Reeves, too, of uh, trying to push himself to the limits. Make sure he doesn't blow his engine up. <clears throat> and keep those tires and fuel it pretty good. Yeah. Master Dragon 4000 drafting the number 82 of Conrad Camber trying to get his first crown jewel win. Here they go, entering turn four. <clears throat> side by side for third place. Jackson Storm versus A. Shea Hollis. And now side by side for first place. Will be Conrad Camber or Master Dragon 4000? Master Dragon 4000 is in the lead. Against number 82 at Conrad Camber. I'm not sure if Master Dragon 4000 could pull off the lead. Because tire wear and um, uh, fuel mileage could be a, a problem here. This is an endurance race. You're going 30 miles around the 1.5 mile track. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if you'll get enough fuel to reach through that final lap. And enough of a rubber to, to win the race. And get ready for the halfway jam. Crank it up. That is your halfway jam, Master Dragon 4000 still dominating this race with 9 laps to go here at Charlotte Murder Speedway, Jackson Storm trying to make a move for 2nd place. <clears throat> Remember what I said earlier, gas mileage and tire wear could be an issue with this, with these type of races. This is an endurance race, that's the reason why we have the 600 every year. Dragon 4000 is gonna lead lap 12. Eight laps to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Conrad Camber versus Jackson Storm for second place. Jackson Storm takes second place away from Conrad Camber. Hey, Shay Hollis right now in fourth place. He's been complaining that he's been having a having an issue with his car. It's overheating. He's gonna have to pit immediately. Here comes Master Dragon 4000 through the pits, following that 45 mile per hour speed limit, along with half of the field. So it's 10 to 10 split on who's going to the pits. And we're gonna, still gonna have side by side. So on the right, you're still seeing Jackson Storm in the lead. HJ Hollis blows up an engine on the back straightaway. He's gonna have to head to the pits immediately. Master Dragon 4000 is going to get two tires and two cans of Dynaco fuel. So we got to fuel up. And here comes group two to the pits. And I bet the officials are going to throw out the caution. Master Dragon 4000 is the first one out of the pits. With six laps to go. Alright. So we're getting confirmation that the caution will come out. Hey, Shay Hollis uh, spilled some oil on the back straight away, so we're going to have to clean that up, and we're going to have to go to overtime. Alright, there goes the pace car. <clears throat> Let's see what just happened. 
All right, so directly in the back straight away, the engine just left a shake hole list. And you know, smoke me on the back straight away. Here's another camera angle. This is the same one that we showed side by side, but in full screen. We're going to break. The caution is out because H.J. Hollis blows up an engine here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Welcome back to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the 2024 N2O Cola 600. We're ready to go back green just because H.J. Hollis blows up his engine. And we're gonna have uh, two laps of overtime, so we're gonna have unlimited attempts. So if the leader does not get the white flag on time, they're gonna have to restart. <clears throat> if the leader gets the white flag, the next flag will end the race. Doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checkered flag. So if they wrecked while well, the leader took the white flag already, the race is over. <clears throat> Jackson Storm and Brian Spark going. <clears throat> Sorry. Brian Spark and Jackson Storm are going up. Sorry for, for my sore, sore voice. I'll still stick. <clears throat> Everybody has a lap down except for Storm and Brian Spark. That's weird. I bet it was the official's decision. Well, not mine. If you're wondering. So once everybody reaches turn three, we're gonna restart double file. So Storm will restart into the outside and Spark. No, um, Storm is gonna restart to the inside and Spark to the outside. <clears throat> Brandon Powercar still still thinks he's in the lead lap and he's gonna be proud if if he passes everybody, but he'll be in the lead lap and finish higher. All right, the pace car makes a hard left turn back to the pits. Here we go with our first attempt of overtime. The green flag is back in the air here at Charlotte Martyr Speedway. Brian Spark already with a great restart in the lead trying to get his first win in 2024. Brandon Power Card trying to pass Jackson Storm and Brian Spark to get the lead lap back. Right now it's Spark versus Storm for the win. There are three wide behind the top four drivers. Trying to make it four wide. Ooh. White flag is out. Next flag will end the race. Brian Spark trying to get his first win of 2024. Last year he won at Indianapolis in the Brickyard 200, which was the Indy Road Course. But instead, the next Indianapolis race will be at the Oval. Now, entering turn three and next... And turn four for the final time. Dramatic finish for the lead lap for Brandon Power Car. Brian Spark is going to win at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Brandon Power Car finishes third place. Along with Jackson Storm in second, fourth Jimmy Cables, and fifth Master Dragon 4000. Congratulations to Brian Spark for winning the end to a Cola 600. So he put a crown jewel trophy for 2024 on his case. And Brandon Power Car, that is one heck of a finish for him. His best finish was at Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, some beef already? With Storm and and Weathers. Some debris are, is on the track and Daniel Swervis forgot to enter the pit box.
Here are the official results. Jackson Storm is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we are racing at St. Louis for the No Stall 300 starting Friday, May 31st at 3.30 p.m. Pacific and 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Bobby Swift will be suspended for the next race because he intentionally wrecked Cruz Ramirez at North Wilkesboro during the All-Star race. And Cruz Ramirez is coming back next Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Hearn 27 signing out.